what do we need this Yom Ha'atzma'ut? What are we looking for now? We have 75 years in the land of Israel. And I was asked just this last week by one of the most important rabbis in Manhattan, who's out there reaching all of the lost Jews in Wall Street and bringing them in. And he said, you know, well, what would you tell me, rabbi in Manhattan? How do I bring the light to the Jews of Manhattan? And I would say, well, I don't know what to say about the Jews of Manhattan, but I, I think it's true for everyone around the world. What we need is a little more Hashem in our lives. Let's bring God a little more into our lives. The news keeps talking about politics. I never hear God in the media. So maybe we need a little break from the mainstream media. Maybe we should be getting less information from the outside and looking for more guidance that comes from the inside. We have decisions to make, pray on them. Ask God for guidance. Prayer is not only talking and asking, but also listening, opening yourself up to listen, to receive guidance, inviting Hashem into our lives, inviting Hashem to celebrate the 75th year of independence with us. People have traded in God for politics. They've traded real friends for social media, Facebook friends. They've trans traded pornography for intimacy, trading away their children for careers, trading away natural food for processed chemical food. They've traded a life where God is a living presence in their lives for some rigid half-truth ideology or religion or philosophy. And that goes to both atheists and religionists, a little less head and a little bit more heart. It's time to do tshuva, to return to the source to return to Hashem, to return to the natural, a little more God in our lives, a little more family, a little more healthy, a little more real friends, a little more real love and light.